I'm Bill Hubscher. And I'm Lori Meggs, and welcome to Focus on Marshall. We're here at the Kennedy Space Center, Florida, for a very special episode, the final launch of Space Shuttle Endeavor right there on that pad. We're going to be talking to a lot of the familiar faces from Marshall who have been working on this program, some from the very beginning. That's right. We'll hear their special stories from working all across the shuttle era and some personal highlights. And, of course, the Space Center has been a part of the shuttle program from the start. It'll be really interesting to hear some of those folks' thoughts and impressions. So let's get out of this wind and get right to it. I'm here now in the orbiter processing facility, and behind me is Space Shuttle Atlantis getting ready for its final voyage. Specifically, there are the Space Shuttle main engines, and joining me now is Jerry Cook. He is the project manager for those main engines at Marshall. And Jerry, first of all, what do you think of when you see that back there? Oh, it's just a sense of pride. It's been a great opportunity to be the manager of the Space Shuttle main engine project. They're truly a work of art and, and probably the most magnificent machines I've ever been around. What's it been like over the years? What are the accomplishments that, that I mean, that, that is a tried and true piece of hardware, right? That's correct. It's over 30 years of history in the Space Shuttle main engines, and it's hard to really mention one or two defining moments. It's grounded in a very active test program. We have over a million seconds of hot fire data on those engines. Each evolution has improved the safety and reliability of the engines, and it's just been a great accomplishment. It's probably uh, the, the best rocket engine ever built. Tell me what it's going to be like when you see those engines fire up for the final time. It's going to be a bittersweet moment. It'll be any like any other mission. It's going to be a sense of tension as we go uphill all the way through main engine cutoff. And it'll be a sense of pride and accomplishment of being part of something like the human spaceflight program here with the nation. And then it'll be bittersweet because we know it's the last time we'll see those engines fly on an orbiter in today's configuration. But you hope for the future, right? Absolutely. We hope to see them fly again in the future on some uh, future launch vehicle. Well, tell us about when we'll stop finally. What's it going to be like personally for you? Uh, we'll stop personally for me. Uh, at first, it'll be a little bit of relief because we know we've accomplished the mission and we've brought the crew back home safely, which is our, our utmost priority. After that, it'll be uh, just savor the moment uh, and take it all in and look back on what all we've accomplished. And again, it'll be sad because we know it's the orbiter's last flight and Atlantis will be going on to its final destination here at the Kennedy Space Center. Really, how cool is it for us to be right here beside uh, it? For a geek engineer, this is great. It doesn't get any better than this. And it's the best part of the whole vehicle, in my opinion. Of course, I'm a little biased. Well, I like it, too. I like being here. Thank you, Jerry. We're here now with Dr. Helen McConaughey. She is the manager of shuttle propulsion systems at the Marshall Space Flight Center. And Dr. McConaughey, yes. you're a, a relative rookie to the shuttle program, that's it being right. around for more than 30 years, but you've only been there for about eight. Right, that's right. I've been at Marshall for over 25, but I've only been working in the shuttle project office for eight years. So looking back, though, at the entire program, including the, the portion that you've been a part of, what do you think are some of the highlights? Wow. Um, you know, the shuttle with 30 years of uh, flying has accomplished or enabled many things. Um, when I do think back on all the different missions we've had, though, I, I would say the obvious ones would be this Hubble Space Telescope, getting it up there, and then the repair mission and the servicing mission that we did um, is really one of the biggies. And then the other, would, of course, would be uh, all that we did to put the space station in place. Imagery analysis is one of the things that uh, Marshall in particular has excelled at over the years. There's a, a group in engineering that's been doing this for years and years, but they now can analyze imagery to great detail and give you sizes and um, location and help us to understand what, what's actually going on out there. Let me ask you then, when you finally see the Endeavor take off from that pad out there here in just, just a couple more days, yes. what's, gonna feel, what's, what's that feeling going to be like for you? Wow. Um, well, I, first of all, I'm going to be fo totally focusing until, until it, it leaves the launch pad, because then, then I can relax. But I'd say once the uh, main engine's cut off, and that really reflects our, um, uh, our job is, is finished. And I think when I take my headset off and I realize it's the last time that I will wear it, uh, wear the headset and be sitting there on console, it's going to be, I'm going to feel very sad. But I'm also going to feel a real sense of, of gratitude for having been part of the program, even though it's only been eight years, and just a, a sense of accomplishment and real uh, joy and satisfaction over having been part of it. Dr. McConaughey, I know you were very hard on this program for the short time you've been on it, yes. and we all definitely appreciate that, and thanks very much for taking time oh, today. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Wow, what a view. I'm here with David Beeman. He is the reusable solid rocket booster project manager at Marshall. And David, tell us what we see behind us here. Well, you'll see the external tank and the two solid rocket boosters. It's the first stage propulsion for the special program. Let's talk about the major accomplishments for your project. Anything stick out to you? 
Well, obviously, uh, coming out of the Challenger incident many years ago, the redesign of the motors, um, we've constantly uh, driven toward perfection on the motors. We've redesigned many things to, to add additional safety for the astronauts, and uh, you know, it's just been an amazing ride. What's it going to be like for you when those motors fire up for the last time? I guess uh, when they first fire, I'll be excited like always, you know, watching the first stage. And I guess after they separate and we know that the orbiter is safely in orbit, uh, it's going to be emotional. You know, uh, coming to the end of a program with all the accomplishments, knowing that's going to be the last one, uh, it, it's going to be uh, it's going to be somewhat emotional. What do you credit the success to? The people. There's no question that the people are the reason we're successful. Not only the ones today, but the the amazing design engineers and program managers that started this program, uh, the guidance they provided us, the hardware they provided us to maintain. So it's the people. All right, David. Well, we look forward to that last launch. Thanks a lot. I'm here now with John Honeycutt, and he is the external tank project manager at Marshall. And John, first of all, tell us how long you've worked with the shuttle program. 22 years. Better part of 22 years. Um, had a few stints away from the program six months to a year. but. And now you're the manager of the backbone to the space shuttle. Tell us what that means to you. Uh, you know, it's it's not only just the hardware aspect of it. Uh, the thing that, that, that has enabled us to get that backbone uh, to where it is today is the people. And when I talk about the people, I'm talking about folks at Marshall Space Flight Center, civil servants, as well as our support contractors and our prime contractor at Miss U and Lockheed Martin. We got a great group of people and uh, the organization that we have has enabled us to do what we've done. And over the years, there've been lots of modifications and adjustments to the tank. What do you think its greatest hour was? Uh, there's no doubt uh, when the agency decided to uh, build a space station and uh, looked at ways to uh, increase the payload for the vehicle or for the system, uh, ET stepped up to the plate, uh, went to aluminum lithium, friction stir welding, uh, reduced the weight of the tank and enabled uh, the agency to go and build uh, the space station. So when you see that final tank go up, what's going to go through your mind then? Um, I'll be extremely proud uh, of all the work that we've done. It's uh, It'll be a culmination of uh, redesigns that occurred throughout the years. I alluded to the one on uh, the super lightweight tank, but uh, there's been several several redesigns, uh, more than a couple of dozen, uh, after Columbia. And, you know, our goal was to make the last tank the best tank, and we've done that. It is the best tank. All right, tell me what it, what's going to go through your mind when, when we see we'll stop on that final shuttle, though. Um, I'll be extremely pr proud of uh, what the team's accomplished. Um, the thing that jumps into my mind, though, is um, the the work that was done generation before us um, by the folks that got shuttle off the ground, got it going where it is today. Now it's our job, since shuttle's going to be retired to uh, pick up with the new space launch system and do what those guys did for shuttle. We need we need to we need to get that space launch system in, to a point to where we're looking back on it 30 years from now and saying what a great program it's been. The legacy continues. Thanks so much, John. We're here with Jody Singer. She is the deputy manager of the shuttle propulsion elements. And Jody, you've been with the program now in some way or another for more than 20 years. What are some of the highlights that you've seen uh, on the shuttle program? Well, there's a lot of highlights. When I think about our ability to support the International Space Station, I think about the changes that we've gone through as far as being able to launch super lightweight tanks and the main engines and the solid rocket boosters. There's just a lot of technology that we brought into the space program. And uh, it's just wonderful to see it come to fruition and uh, see it launch. So what about some of the, the personal and professional highlights you've experienced while you were on shuttle? Well, definitely in shuttle, it's the people. It's the commitment to the success of the shuttle, the day in, day out uh, contributions that our folks have made, their families, uh, across the entire Marshall Space Flight Center, from the engineering director to safety and mission assurance, the project offices, all the elements, and our prime contractors. They all make the shuttle successful. It's their commitment, their teamwork, 
and day in, day out, the sacrifices they've made. All right, so Jody, we're, we're not too far away from watching Endeavor make its final trip into, the, into orbit. How are you going to feel when you, when you feel that rumble and, and see that plume of smoke as it, as it launches for the final time? I'm sure I'll have some tears, <laughs> um, but there'll be a lot of personal satisfaction knowing that, you know, a lot of us played a big part in making it successful, but I will be sad. Um, it's, it's been part of my life. Um, it's a commitment and a sense of pride, and uh, it's just amazing when you think about all the effort and the teamwork that went into making the shuttle successful, but I will be sad. I'm sure I'll shed some tears, but then there'll be a lot of pride, too, that we've done a job well. Jody, I think a lot of us are going to be right there with you. <laughs> Thanks very much. Thank you. I'm here with Steve Cash, the manager of the Shuttle Propulsion Office at the Marshall Center. And Steve, as you turn around and you look at Endeavor on that pad, tell me what goes through your mind. Uh, a lot of pride. Uh, it took a lot to get to this, uh, this point. Uh, this is Endeavor's last uh, flight, last mission. Uh, I think all the accomplishments that, uh, that, have, that have come and the technologies that had to be developed and the teamwork that, uh, that was required to, uh, to get to the pad. Uh, just lots of pride in this team. For folks who may not know, tell us about the shuttle propulsion systems. That thing wouldn't get off the ground without that, right? They put about uh, 7 million pounds uh, together combined between the uh, solid rocket motors and the engines uh, to, get off this, uh, to get off this planet. In your mind, what is the shuttle's greatest achievement, greatest success? Well, you know, when I sit back and think about all the successes that have come from the shuttle, and there's a lot of them, you got to really concentrate on the station. Uh, it took uh, multiple missions. Uh, it took a lot of new technologies that are, that are now applicable here on Earth. Uh, but assembling that station has got to be the, that crowning jewel of the shuttle program. What about when wheels stop for the final time, the final shuttle? What's, what's going to get through your mind then? It's going to be a little sad. Uh, I'm not going to kid you, I'm probably still in denial. I walked the pad uh, last week. Uh, wasn't anybody else out there uh, except for just a few people that were watching the, taking care of the vehicle and, and just slowly go from one top, from the top to the bottom. Uh, it's just uh, probably a little bit of denial. Uh, we've been doing this a long time and, and so it'll be a little bit of sadness, probably a lot of joy too. I've talked a lot about, about pride because there will be a lot of pride in accomplishing our mission. Uh, but there'll be a little sadness. All right, Steve, thank you so much. Thank you. I'm here with Marshall Center Director Robert Lightfoot, and Robert, you worked on the shuttle program for how long? Well, on and off uh, since, since I started in 86. And talking about all the work over the years, I don't know if you can narrow it down, but maybe one or two highlights, accomplishments, personal highlights for you during this program. Oh, man, I, I think the, <laughs> that's, that's a tough one, but I, I, I really believe in 10 or 15 years when people look back on the shuttle program, the enabling and the building of the International Space Station is going to be one of the one of the the big memories about what shuttle has done for us. Clearly, the Hubble will be there. I mean, Hubble is always going to be there. Chandra that we did at Huntsville is going to be there. The big observatories, I guess, in general. But I think the the big highlight for me is is watching the team, right? I mean, we this shuttle team is 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 so diverse, and it's just an, it's from all over this country that make that make that shuttle fly and fly safely and, and watching that team work is pretty amazing. What's it going to be like for you when well first of all when it lights up for the last time when those boosters light up and the engines light up and it takes off and then and then when wheels finally stop for the last one? Yeah I think I, you know when the boosters and the engines light up I, I, I don't think it'll be any different I really don't uh, because that's kind of when you're you're, you're so focused on making it, you know, on watching and making sure everything's going the way it's supposed to go. Uh, I think the harder part for me personally will be we'll stop when you realize that 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 is it um, and we've gotten Atlantis home um, safely and that the program is is over that'll be that'll be tough uh, but I think we'll try very hard to focus on to celebrate the successes like you said earlier uh, try to try to celebrate what we accomplished with shuttle and and the memories we have of each other as, as team members and and how we got there I think that'll be our big our, our big thing to deal with when we'll stop hits but it's gonna be hard I'm the first to say it's gonna be tough all right. Thanks, Robert. All right. Thank you. Bill, it's been such an honor to talk to folks who've worked almost their whole lives, their whole NASA careers on the space shuttle program to make it a success. Oh, yeah. And it's great to be able to see this NASA team hard at work done here at Kennedy and also to get to talk to them about this historic launch. You're absolutely right about that. It's been a lot of fun. Join us next time as we focus on Marshall.